Welcome guys. In this video, I will give you 10 amazing tips and tricks that you need to know as a PUBG player. Tip number 1, try to avoid traveling by motorcycle. It is one of the fastest vehicles in this game, but the less secured one, which can easily get you killed. Motorcycle has some worse glitches in this game, for example teleporting into random location and instantly getting you killed, and some unknown glitches, so I would highly recommend not to use motorcycle to travel in this game. Unless you're a professional player and know what you are doing. Here is a simple way to learn crosshair placement. The idea of having a good crosshair placement is by simply placing your crosshair in the direction where you think there is most likely to be an enemy, and wait for your enemy get into your crosshair or pre-fire if needed, depending on the situation. So here is an example, I think my enemy will peek from this door, so I pointed my crosshair towards this door and waiting for the enemy to peek. And do yourself a favor by placing crosshair at the head level. But what if there are multiple enemies, where should you place your crosshair? So in this example, there are two enemies, one peeking from this window and another one rushing from this side. In these type of situations, you always have to prioritize the bigger threats. In my case, the window enemy is a bigger threat for me because there is a reason behind why the enemy peeked. The enemy may have seen me rushing and I'm totally exposed so I have to clear the bigger threat and move to the next one. If you win a gunfight, don't start looting immediately, check if there are any nearby players and then loot. Buildings are very hard to attack when the enemy is hiding inside and ready to take you down if you try to go in. This is because a lot of the buildings have only a few entrances and they aren't that hard to defend when entering into a building. You will have no idea what your enemy is doing, but your enemy knows exactly what you do. I will give you three tips on how to rush into a building. When rushing into any building, throw as many grenades as possible. When doing these you're forcing your enemies to either move or die, both gives you an advantage. If you're lucky and got a knock, then push without any hesitation. As the other player would be reviving, you will get an advantage over it. If you directly rush into a house without any information you will instantly die, because campers are everywhere, instead see if you could find your enemies through windows and make the kill without entering into building at all. But sometimes your enemy will be very well aware that you're out there wanting to kill them, and they won't just peek out from the window allowing you to kill them, but in these situations, you should always keep changing positions, and it will confuse your enemy. If you think your enemy is camping on the first floor, try to get the high ground and see if you could find your enemies from nearby buildings. And the best trick here is the fake grenade trick. Throw a smoke grenade, and when the enemy hears the grenade sound, he will be forced to move as it might be frag grenade, push immediately to find your enemy running away. I will give you three reasons why you should carry pistols. 1. It doesn't take up space in your backpack. But you need to disable auto pickup ammo for all the pistols. 2. You can carry extra scopes like red dot and holo sight for your teammates and it won't take up space in your backpack. Three. You can also carry laser sight which can be used in most of the assault rifles and SMGs to increase the hip fire accuracy and still it doesn't take up space in your backpack. And if you could find scorpion it can carry vertical grip and half grip, which would be best in my opinion if you constantly change between grips. If you want to take PUBG mobile skills to the next level, learn how to change grips depending on the distance for example, if you are shooting in the long or in mid range, then these grips would give better performance for you. And if you are taking a gunfight in close range, then these grips would be better because thumb grip reduces scope opening time, and the laser sight will increase your hip fire accuracy, which will increase your chances of winning the gunfights. The best way to learn how to change grips between gunfights is by playing TDM, I have thumb grip in my M4 and laser sight in pistol, if the enemy comes really close, I switch my grip to laser sight to get the advantage of hip fire accuracy. After practicing for few hours you will achieve muscle memory and your speed of switching between grips will increase. Muzzle attachments and grips will play a major role in reducing the recoil in horizontal and vertical ways and this is what a specific attachment does to your weapon.
And now here's why you should switch to FPP mode when you're jumping from a higher place. As you can see, my player blocks my view, and sometimes this will get you killed. If you change to FPP when jumping, here's how your view will look. You will get clearly view player without getting blocked. So the tip is that switch to FPP mode when you're jumping from a higher place to surprise attack your enemy. Here is the comparison between TPP and FPP. Here is a trick to climb on this house which is in Pachinki. Climb up this wall. And go to the edge and jump. Ledge grab feature will trigger and you will climb up this place. You can camp here and nobody will accept you here in this place. If you run out of ammo in your primary weapon instead of reloading, switch to your secondary weapon. It would take around half a second to switch between guns, but if you reload it would take 2 to 3 seconds to reload. When you reload in a gunfight it makes you more vulnerable because nearby players can hear your reloading sound. If you play solo versus squads a lot, always carry two assault rifles and switch between guns instead of reloading. And the last tip, if you're fighting against shotgun, don't get too close to the enemy as they have the ability to one-shot you. Try to stay in a range where a shotgun isn't that powerful.